Rose here with another Shopify tutorial and today we're going to talk about a special way that I learned early on as a Shopify developer to not break live sites while working on them. This is a very important thing to learn once your shop goes live or if it's already live. If you want to make changes to the images, to the layouts, to the fonts, all of that sort of stuff. If there's anything that you want to change other than, you know, your products and your menus, which would obviously show live, but about your theme specifically, without it being reflected on your live site right now, this is the way you do it. So you'll see here, I am in my little tutorial store that I made specifically for these purposes. And if I go down to online store on the left hand side, everything in my dashboard is exactly where it will be in yours. So you can follow along. You'll see here I'm using debut theme, which I have customized with exactly zero customizations. I have not edited <laughs> any settings or done anything to it. But if we can pretend this is my live store and I don't want anything on it to change, what we would do to actually develop or, or change the store in some way is we're actually going to start by renaming this theme from debut to live. That way you know that whatever says live is what is actually in use right now on your site and you won't mess with it, okay? It, it eliminates all of the confusion. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click duplicate, okay? This is going to create a copy of the live theme. And you'll see it showing up right down here. It says copy of live. Word to the wise, if this takes a few minutes to process, which it might if you're on a slower connection like I am or, or something else happening, don't click away, don't go do anything else while that's processing because you'll end up losing pages in the duplicate and you'll have to do it over again. So just wait for that to finish processing and you'll have a copy of live. Then you're going to go ahead and rename this to dev, which is what I usually use. Okay. That tells you this is the developer version of this theme and you can go ahead and customize this. You can edit fonts, you can edit the code if you want and preview it in your customization panel without ever breaking your live site. When you're ready to take it live, you are going to hit actions and publish. And this is automatically going to take your dev theme live. Okay, just to prove that that's what happened, you want to make sure that dev is now the one that pops up under current theme. And you can rename that. Actually, let's do best practices here. Rather than renaming that one first, let's rename live. Today is April 28th. So I always keep my backups. I always keep what just was live in case we need to roll back. So we're going to say April 28th, 2020 backup. Okay, now we go up to the dev version, rename it, and call it live. So now you have a live version and you have a backup version in case you need to roll back. And if you're continuing to make more changes, you just duplicate the live version again. Wait for it to complete its processing so you're not missing random files that break everything. Trust me, you can't even press the actions button while it's doing this. When it's done, then you now, now rename this to dev and poof. You now have a version of your store that you can work on without messing with your backup or your live site. This is what's going to protect you from any changes or um, any issues that you create when you're messing with your store that it allow you to have the creative freedom to improve things the way you want without worrying about impacting what's live. Um, it's also a fun way for you to test things out. So if you wanted to do a couple of different font options and get some opinions from your staff or your partners or your family and friends, you could create multiple dev sites, call them one, two, and three, for example, and then send the preview links, share the preview links with your testers and they'll be able to give you feedback on those still without it impacting your live site. I actually just recently did that and it worked beautifully to get feedback on a proof from a client who wanted to change up the fonts in her shop, okay? So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If there's any spe specific tutorials you would like to see me create, 
please drop them in the comments below. If you like this tutorial, make sure you give this video a like. And if you want to hear more from me, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm publishing tutorials like this all the time, along with plenty of content to help you grow your Shopify or other e-commerce business. Um, and I would really love to have you a part of our community. Thanks so much for watching.